Denise Janet here with Radiant Wanderings. Today we are talking about the top five things to do at Discovery Cove. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. And as always, there is a blog post in the video description. So if you need more details, be sure to check that out. One of the things we absolutely loved about Discovery Cove is the food and relaxation. When you guys come into Discovery Cove, the first thing you're going to want to do is eat. When you purchase a ticket to Discovery Cove, it is all inclusive, so that includes your food, your beverages, your alcohol, sunscreen, snorkel gear, lockers, everything you would need. So unless you're wanting to buy souvenirs or upgrade your alcohol package, you can just leave that credit card at home. They actually open for breakfast early, so I highly recommend getting there. I believe it's around 7.30 when they open, and then you can go in, eat breakfast before the park amenities open. You're not rushed, it's very relaxing. Now, breakfast and lunch are served at designated times throughout the day, but they have a snack shack that is open all day long with fresh baked cookies, fresh baked soft pretzels, slushies, soft drinks, alcohol, little ice cream cups, so you're not going to go hungry. So while all those other people are waiting in line at Disney World or Universal Studios for rides and then for food and then shelling out a bunch more money, you're gonna be relaxing with your feet up in a hammock and enjoying the sunshine. Okay, so after breakfast, we went to the bird aviary, which was so much fun. Very different from a zoo because you're right up in there with the birds and when you enter, they give you a little cup of bird food. So you can just walk around with that, feed the birds, you can entice the birds up onto your arm or your shoulder and walk around with them. They have parrots, I believe they have several kinds of parrots. I don't know my bird names, but there are a ton of beautiful birds there. Have your camera ready, you're going to get some great shots. Another thing we loved at Discovery Cove was the Lazy River. This Lazy River is like none other that I've seen before. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to go through it, and it's designed to look as natural as possible. So you start out going through this cave-like looking thing, and it actually varies in depth, which could be a little bit annoying because you can bump your knee on it. They put signs beforehand, so you know. It also goes through part of the aviary, so as you're floating down the river, you see all these beautiful birds, and then they have waterfalls. Beware, you will get wet. <laughs> you do have to go under the waterfall, but it's just so fun. It's a beautiful oasis. Just snag a noodle and float on down. Okay, another thing we absolutely loved at Discovery Cove was the Great Reef. Aside from going to Bora Bora and spending a ton of money, <laughs> because Bora Bora is crazy expensive, uh, beautiful, but crazy expensive, this is a great place to take your kids and introduce them to snorkeling because rather than in the ocean with all of the elements and the big waves and whatever comes up, it's a more protected area. So they are in the water and it does go deeper and deeper and deeper, but you're not dealing with the waves or the unknowns in that sort. Now, I will say, the fish and the stingray come right up next to you. So if your kids are concerned about that, kind of <laughs> start slow and then work your way up. A tip here, my daughter wears glasses and she has a pretty strong prescription and she got freaked out because she accidentally stepped on a stingray because she couldn't wear her glasses with her goggles. So if your kids are old enough, I would recommend getting at least one pair of disposable contacts for the day so they can actually see what's coming at them and really enjoy it. Another really fun thing about the Great Reef is that when you swim around, there is a shark viewing area. And so it's blocked, it's separated by glass, but it looks like they're coming right at you. And that is a lot of fun to go see them. They have black tip reef sharks there and one other kind, I'm not sure what they were, but be sure to make your way around to that area. If you're not sure where it is, ask, because it's really cool to see the sharks. And then the last thing I would say to be sure to do at Discovery Cove is do one of the add-on packages. They are so much fun and they offer so many kinds. So Sea Venture, we didn't do, but it looks so cool. I saw a video on it. You put this little helmet on and you go on down with all of the fish. <laughs> it's a dive helmet. I've never worn one of those, but I think that would be so much fun to try out. Another one that they have is Animal Trek, Swimming with Shark, Ray Feeding, and then of course the one that we did was Swimming with the Dolphins, and I think that's a very popular one, and with good reason. It was so much fun. 
and it was better than I even expected from that. They'll take you in a room and they'll kind of tell you what to expect, tell you a bit about the dolphins. They take such good care of them. They know their personalities and they told us that if the dolphin doesn't feel like doing it, they don't have to do it and that they work on dolphin time. So sometimes they run a little bit late if the dolphin doesn't feel like being out at that time. They don't force them, they don't hurt them. And you can tell that all the trainers really love them. So it's a lot of fun. So once you get in the water, they're going to have the dolphin just pass by and let you feel the dolphin. They'll tell you a little bit about their skin, their tail, their markings. Then they'll have the dolphin do some little tricks like wave to you, pretend he's being caught by a fishing pole. Right. <laughs> swim out and just do a little jump or a little flip. And then you get to swim out. You can choose to swim from the deep water or the shallow water. And then you can ride the dolphin in. And of course you get to kiss the dolphin. And they're really great about giving time for you to get photos with the dolphin. Now this will be tricky. If you don't have a zoom lens, they have professional photographers there that are taking them, but those photos are very expensive, of course. <laughs> but if you don't have a zoom lens on your camera or a really nice camera, I don't think you're gonna get anything that's very good with a phone camera. They don't let you take them in the water with you but certainly try but if you do that you're going to need to go at separate times and that's actually what we did I went with my daughter and then my sister went with her daughter and we recorded each other with our cameras and we did have nice cameras on the side with zoom lenses but even that you have to get in the right group because otherwise it's hard to find an angle that works so <laughs> you with a little bit of finagling you can do it though all right guys that's it that covers my top five for Discovery Cove we had so much fun there I highly recommend it I mean I am a fan of Disney World and Universal and all that as well but this was such a relaxing day and I think all four of us ladies would go back in a heartbeat you will enjoy it you'll be glad that you went one last tip if you stay until the end of the day and ask the trainers may let you help feed the dolphins and take you around to a special viewing window where you can get a closer look